the Buff Dudes Bodyweight World Tour continues. Today, we're in our parents' front yard. Hell yeah. Exciting <laughs> stuff. Oh yeah. Because we're showing that you can basically do these bodyweight workouts anywhere. So, we got our book. Link in description, by the way. And we're going to get started. <laughs> That'll get the quads burning. We have an extra difficulty mode because parents kind of live on a farm, so got these carrot fields over here, and it's bee season. So we've got a whole bunch of little stinging friends that we've got to look out for. The bee! And you can tell we are doing a slightly modified version of the burpee. There is a little bit more of a difficult version of the burpee, and that's when you add the push-up in. So that's kind of a little bit more difficult. It's going to involve the chest, and uh, it's one thing you got to take into consideration. If you're kind of new to burpees, if you want to make them a little bit easier, then just take out the push-up and uh, just kick your legs back, back forward, jump straight up, and then start again. So uh, that's a good thing about these exercises. They're as tough as you want them or as easy as you want them. But the weird thing is burpees, even at the easiest setting, is tough. It wouldn't be a buff dude's backyard workout without an ice bath. Filling it up right now, that's gonna be reward after this hardcore body weight workout. Whew, let's get this thing over with. I'm already hot. Oh, right, we got kind of a new exercise here. It's gonna be curtsy to lateral squat. It's two different motions and they're gonna be slightly separated, but they're actually joined together, so it's gonna be kind of a continuous motion here. So we're gonna kind of go through the motion and then explain a little bit what it does or what to do and maybe what not to do as well. So when you're gonna stand here, this is about a, a normal stand shoulder width, toes pointed forward, and you're gonna be bringing one leg behind you here. And if you see the knee angle or the ratio is about the same, so they're kind of right in line with each other. You're gonna, you're gonna just kind of squat down and you can see that you're gonna have a little bit of ankle mobility here. So it's gonna have to bend in accordance with the angle here. And you're gonna feel immediately in that glute, kind of glute meat area in the side of the butt there. And then as soon as you kind of squat up, you're gonna go right into a lateral squat here. And you're really gonna try to keep your toes pointed forward as much as you can. It's immediately gonna feel the other glute in the quad. And then you can lift up, go right back to the curtsy squat and then right to the lateral squat there. Let's get the right reps. You immediately go into the next leg. Oh yeah, felt pretty good. What you don't want to do, especially in the curtsy squat, is when you come back, and again try to keep that knee to knee ratio or angle. You don't want to come too far. You lose balance, put a little unnecessary stress on the ankle there. So really trying to kind of keep it, you know, in that nice angle there. Not too much, but just enough where you feel that pressure on kind of that hip area. That gluteus medius and maximus. Building them glutes, baby. Pop. Ice bath is full. Oh yeah. Ah, feels good. Now the pressure's on, we gotta finish this workout so I can jump in that bad boy. Got the single leg Romanian deadlifts up next. Now this one is a little tricky as far as balance goes. So one of the uh, hints or tips that we give actually in, in the bodyweight cutting book is you'll see when we break down all the exercises, one is you wanna try to pick a spot on the ground or floor. So when you're performing it, just imagine when you're on a boat and you kind of look at the horizon and that's what gives you or helps you kind of get your equilibrium back. So this can kind of feel that way where you know, finally you can you know, feel a little bit unbalanced. But if you pick a spot on the ground, it's gonna help you kind of you know, remain uh, balanced a little bit more and keep you in that right motion. So it's gonna be balanced on one leg. And be bring yourself to that kind of uh, RDL type position where the leg is just slightly bent. You're bending over, keeping that the trunk straight as you possibly can. And you're gonna balance yourself by bringing this leg back. You can kind of slightly reach down if you like. And then you can bring yourself up to the top position. But we're adding a little extra motion in here. We're gonna raise the knee of that opposite leg that's used to balance you. You're gonna raise it up. Kick it back, raise it up. So with an exercise like single leg Romanian deadlifts, it really helps to find a flat surface since there's so much stability involved. If you want to up the difficulty, yeah, you can do what we're doing, perform it in something with a little bit more of an unstable terrain, like the uh, yard here. And I do have a confession to make. Single leg Romanian deadlifts are probably one of my least favorite exercises, but hey, sometimes 
if you got to get it done, you got to get it done. And this is an excellent exercise to isolate those hamstring and glutes, so I'm going to be doing it. But don't feel too bad if you're having some problems with stability, maybe you're losing your balance because this is a very difficult exercise. So it helps, as Brandon said, find a spot to look at. It will help with your balance. But if you lose your balance from time to time, hey, we're all learning here, so no one's no one's gonna fault you for it. I know I've fallen more than my fair share of times. 15, oh yeah, feeling that burn. Oh, that does it. Ah, ah. No, I'm not punishing myself for doing incorrect forms. Little skeeters out here. Yeah, get them off you, little blood suckers. Especially when you're all pumped up. It's like fresh, juicy, buff dude blood. Ah. Yeah, and you can see too, your ankle really helping to stabilize you, so it's really good for that ankle strength and also gives you a bit of mobility in there too. Yeah, that's a good one. Here's our workout partner. Out on the farm, you got barn cats everywhere. They're pretty helpful though. Pest control, you know? They haven't got us out of here yet though, so he's not doing his job too well, but. He catches bees too! He's a bee killer. That's a good cat. Yeah, thanks Red. That's his name, Red the Bee Killer. He's looking out for us, you know? He's making sure we get this workout finished so we can upload it to the internet. This next one's a tough one. It's the pistol squat. Now this one, uh, needs some practice on. It's not very good. Some people can do it just straight from the ground, but I'm gonna make this a little easier by elevating one leg slightly off the ground. That way it's gonna make it a little easier. The back is going to flex um, quite a bit because I'm not very flexible myself. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just gonna bust these out. So unilateral exercise, focusing on one leg and then we're gonna switch to the next. We're gonna try for 10 reps and see how this goes. Uh, oh yeah, so as you can see, your body is kind of in a pistol position. You can go like this, you know, this is gonna be your torso. This is the leg that's stretched out. Of course, the leg under you is doing the pressing motion. So, hence the name pistol squat. Hitting those glutes, quads, all that good shit. We're gonna try the next leg now. Oh yeah, did it. That burned, that was tough. But, you know, if it's a little bit too difficult for you, if you're struggling with the pistol squats, you can always find a platform to sit down on to make it a bit easier. Right now, we're really getting that low, low squat, trying to get all the way down, but if you're not quite sure of your strength levels or balance, um, just bring something on either a step, a stool, so that we can sit down on it and uh, go from there, which we're gonna show you here in a second. Whew, looking a little bit like a limp pistol, <laughs> but uh, hey, a pistol nonetheless, so <laughs> getting the job done. <sighs> It's like a trust fall. I have to trust in this antique bench. Don't let me down. All right, there we go. Set number one done. Whew. As I was saying earlier with the Romanians, the single legs, it's not always gonna be perfect, okay? And I know mine sure as hell isn't on the pistols, but we're showing you this, number one, because it's in the program, and number two, because it's not always gonna be perfect. And it's easy to see the perfect form in videos, but Hey, you're not always gonna have a perfect day. Could be different things, could be the mind, could be the body. And if you took a look at these pistol squats, even with the bench and you thought, screw that, I don't even wanna try that out. You can always switch it out with stationary lunges, which is just like this. So you do the same thing, 10 reps on each leg. You go left, switch out, do the other one, and there you go. Nice little alternative. Got the hard stuff out of the way. Now it's time to hit those calves. We're gonna do some single leg calf raises. You can do them elevated or you can just do them on the ground. And this is really simple because you're just gonna be raising one foot up and then just elevating that heel, squeeze and bring it back down. Oh yeah. You do it fast or slow. Slower is gonna be a little bit more difficult just because of the balance once you're on your kind of balls of your feet. But you know, raise that heel up, ooh, nice squeeze, right back down. If you want a little extra difficulty, uh, go ahead and do it on a platform or a raise, like a stair or something like that, where you can get a bit more of the stretch. So you bring your heel lower, get that full stretch in the calf muscle, and then extend up to the top position to get that full contraction, squeeze, and lower back. So back down. Get the last exercise of the workouts can be the twisting planks. This one is uh, pretty simple, thankfully, but um, we're going to kind of go over uh, a few things to keep in mind when performing this exercise. One. As the name explains, it is a plank um, and is also twisting. So you're gonna get in the plank position. 
down on your forearms, feet together, get in that plank position here, and then you're gonna slowly twist to one side, touch the hip, and then back to the other side, touch the hip. So you not only have to hold that position, so it's a good core workout, but also with the twisting motion, you're really gonna engage the obliques there. So you're gonna really feel it in the side, um, and uh, it's gonna start burning a little bit. Whew. Uh, yeah, two more sets. Uh, final rep. Uh, you know what that means. It means baptism, buff dude style. Uh, until next time. Stay